Fantastic great greetings to everyone. How are you? The continuous vehicle is an Alfa Romeo 156, crafted to go head-to-head -head with BMW's formidable 3 Series, the Alfa Romeo 156 is a standout. Ever since Fiat took the reins of Alfa Romeo in the 70s, the brand faced its fair share of challenges, struggling to find its unique path to survival. Various attempts, from relying on traditional elements like boxer engines and V6S, to experimenting with Fiat platforms, didn't quite hit the mark. The blame? Largely on the product planners, it was high time Alfa embraced its sporty heritage and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of BMW and Audi. Fast forward to the realization, and here comes the 156. Though it may share some DNA with the Tipo platform, consider it a breath of fresh air. With a new double wishbones front suspension for BMW level body control, the 156 ensures a thrilling ride. The steering, with its ultra-quick response and precision, steals the show. Despite a hint of understeer, the 156 allows for some oversteer on throttle, a must-have for any true driver's car. And yes, it's surprisingly supple on the road, a departure from its predecessors. Let's talk engines. No doubts when it comes to Alpha. The Twin Spark 16 V series, including the 1.6, 1.8, and 2.0, are marvels. But the real star is the new 24 valves, 2.5 liters V6, boasting 190 HP and 164 LBFT. Powerful and with a captivating roar, it's a gem. Alpha doesn't joke around a six-speed manual for the two. Five V6 and a Ferrari-made semi-auto gearbox are in the works. Step inside, and the 156 offers more room than the BMW 3 Series and Audi A4, previous model. Twin sporty dials, a nice-looking steering wheel, and a central console-mounted circular gauge give the cabin a radical and sporty vibe. The best part? Alpha finally got the driving position right, making it a comfortable place for everyone. Now, enter the Alfa Romeo 156 GTA, defying automotive theories with 250 horsepower over the front wheels. It's the front-wheel drive version of BMW M3, even outshining it in driver involvement and emotional character. Accelerating to 60 mph in just 6.0 seconds, the GTA is a force to be reckoned with. The 60-degree V6, stroked from 72.6 to 78 Mingui, produces 250 horsepower and 221 LBFT of torque, delivering an unmatched driving experience. Numbers aside, the visual beauty of the V6 is something to behold. No plastic covers here, just alloy cam covers, an exposed intake plenum, and beautifully chromed intake manifolds. Alfa Romeo and GTA 3.2 V6 signatures complete this visual feast. Alfa Romeo sure knows how to elevate your emotions. Step into the enchanting world of the GTA as you swing open the door, where the allure of the beautiful cabin instantly elevates your emotions. The original 156 was already a head-turner with its stylish dashboard and sporty twin-dial instrument, but now the GTA takes it up a notch. Adorned with the exquisite three-spoke steering wheel and finely textured, soft-touch plastic surfaces borrowed from the 147, it seamlessly combines... <laughs> just in the dimensions of X, Y, Z, and time, but in sound. Alfa Romeo proudly leaves its engine uncovered, allowing the charismatic engine note to fill the space. Who needs sound insulation when you have such a captivating engine soundtrack? The V6's melodious hum at town speeds is just the beginning. explosive power delivery like the M3, but a linear increase in power and torque that entices you to explore the high revs, especially when paired with the slick six-speed gearbox. Yet, the true challenge 
lies in the chassis. Alfa Romeo takes the 156's solid foundation and elevates it to the 250 HP territory. The double wishbone front suspension is rethought with suspension link mounting points adjusted for optimized geometry. Reinforced lower links and stiffer springs contribute to a lowered ride height, enhancing stability. Thickened anti-roll bars, reprogrammed ASR traction control, and the introduction of VDC stability control all play their part. Brembo calipers on larger discs ensure robust braking performance. Visually, the GTA is a stunner, exuding a sportier, sexier, and meaner vibe. The deep chin spoiler, mesh grilled air intakes, lowered ride height, and flared wheel arches housing 17 inch 225 45Z tires give it a grounded, aggressive presence on the road. The real magic happens when you hit the road. The taut suspensions keep those 17 inch rubbers firmly gripping the surface, allowing the GTA to storm into bends without the typical front drive understeer. The steering feel is sharper than an M3 with a response and precision that feel instinctive. It's not just a car, it's a road-eating marvel that transforms driving into a primal instinct. Does it have any flaws? Yes, the precise suspensions make ride rock hard. It hates to ride over broken surfaces where M3 will overcome without much discomfort. Not as hard as Evo 7 though, but I suspect its ride quality will tie with another GTA, the Lancer Evo 7 GTA. Production of the Alfa Romeo 3.2 meters V6 engine at Arise ended on December 31st, 2005. In a rather poignant coincidence, its original designer Giuseppe Busso died just a few days later on January 3rd, 2006. This GTA isn't just a performance car, it's a thrilling experience. With the ability to lift off throttle mid-corner and gracefully display manageable oversteer, it's more nimble than its German counterparts. Throttle steerable, making it a more emotional and engaging ride. The stylistic changes made to the GTA merely reflected the technical ones while remaining pleasantly understated. The new bumpers, wider fenders, and side skirts only noticeable by the most attentive onlookers. To delve deeper into the GTA's world, share your inquiries and thoughts about this video in the comments section below. And that's a wrap for now. Don't forget to show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, farewell.